it, one of the things that I've got with, that's got to be done uh, for me to succeed. Is, okay, I edited this this section here, um, and you basically you can uh, where I put the product of the shirt and uh, some keywords in here that Google looks for to for, so when somebody searches for a Christmas sweater. Um, and so it, you, you click on this and it lets you um, edit this, this box by editing the search engine there by editing the description here. So what I did is I shortened the, um, cause the mega description had, had just all about the shirt, but I left enough to so that people could tell that it was a good shirt so if you want to go to products oh, come on my battery's gonna die Let's hurry 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 and he's gonna click on this one that's what I'm going to be there for, and it's going to be an awesome event. I'll have a link in the description box and in the Hopefully comments if you want to learn more about the event. So a common question that I get regarding our off-road solar setup is whether or not I'm going to be installing a small wind turbine uh, to provide some supplemental power to the battery and to the overall system. So doing wind turbines on a large scale, so the big up ones that you typically see at the farm field that are connected directly to the utilities, um, that's an effective way of doing, of, of generating power from wind. See the way, doing it on a much smaller scale is not necessarily the way that would be, effective. um, it can actually be much easier and cheaper. Okay, I have to change, okay, that's right. To compensate for any of the power that would have been generated through a wind turbine. So we're I have to change to something to save something. Let's click really on good something. Idea for a small off-grid setup. Liam wrote a really good article on DIY homesite Oh, which this is not an open really Christmas shirt. Sure. What I'm going to go over. Crap. So the first issue that we're going to look at is going to okay. be the wind velocity or speed. So Liam pulled up some numbers here. I'll have to change that later. And after uh, I've changed something. Very often, but when you do, you know, you're going to be able to generate those 1,000 watts. To compare that to my solar panels, you would just need four solar panels that are sitting there stationary, and they're going to be getting sun every single day. Yes. So that's a very easy oh, way to good. quickly compare a wind turbine to some solar panels. So the issue here is that throughout most of the United States, excluding some places in Wyoming and the Midwest, is that there are not the consistent wind speeds that you're going to need so the neat in shirt. order to generate so you come a up here, amount of power. Uh, so the next edit issue that you're going to be running into website is seat. the height of the wind turbine. So the higher that you typically okay. build it, the smoother and more consistent the winds are going to be. Now, for the Missouri wind so and then you have this mega description where they take up all of it like just talking about the shirt. So I take out everything that's double that, uh, and, um, and shorten it up to give me enough room so that I can so add like 10 feet tall, not 20 feet what tall, the shirt's about and keywords so to the beginning, like the keywords to the beginning of what it's about and leave. We do enough of this to make really sure tall, <clears> that, that, uh, that it still looks like a good shirt, but to yourself. have the stuff um, that so people actually be searching for, like the, nobody's probably going to search for this eight political yeah, saying shirt, but um, on, on a lot of the other shirts, the bald shirts and the Christmas shirts, somebody might be searching for such a thing. So I'm going to upload this onto my YouTube channel uh, and send you there. Thank you.